Here is how you share screen on iPhone with two methods. But first, hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. It really helps me out. Thank you. The first way is from iPhone to iPhone. Second way from iPhone to Mac. For iPhone to iPhone, you first of all need to open the Messages app. Look for the person in your messages that you want to do the screen share for. Make sure you've added them as a contact. Then tap the FaceTime icon at the top left and then choose either share my screen or ask the other person to share their screen. I'll be sharing the iPhone 15 Pro Max screen, so I'll share my screen and it's going to start a FaceTime call. Now, if you're you know, doing this for testing, you can just FaceTime someone directly if that is easier, if you don't have a message thread. So I'll accept the FaceTime call and then the screen sharing should begin. And so you can see the screen is being shared. You can also just tap the share icon in FaceTime. You may have to tap on the screen, then you'll have the share option. And so once we've shared, we can do even more. We can either annotate or we can even control the iPhone. Now, if the control iPhone feature doesn't work, you need to go into settings and then general date and time and then just set your date forward by day so if you get any errors just set your date forward by day on the iphone that you want to you know have your screen shared on so we'll tap this button here we'll have the remote control we will allow the remote control and once this is done my iphone on the right can control the iphone on the left just like this so you can see Everything's being controlled. Again, change the date and time on the iPhone you want to control if you're having issues. Now, the second way is with the Mac. Your Mac needs to be on macOS Sequoia 15.0. Your iPhone needs to be on iOS 18. You need to be signed into the same Apple account on iPhone and Mac. If you are in the EU, then on iPhone and Mac, you have to head to General. Then you head to the Language and Region. And you have to set your region to outside the EU, use US or UK. You also need to be on the same Wi-Fi network. Bluetooth has to be on for both the Mac and iPhone. And once all of that is done, we can open the Finder app, then go into Applications. And in Applications, we have the new iPhone mirroring. So just open this app up and it should connect. Now, when I did this for the first time, I got an error. To fix the error, you just restart the Mac. So you go in and restart the Mac. And so in here, I can control my iPhone. Typically, it forces you to lock the iPhone. However, the reason why it's not doing that is because it's connected to my other iPhone 15. Not that iPhone 15. It's connected to this iPhone 15 Pro Max by accident instead of this one. OK, however, just make sure your iPhone 15 Pro Max is slept and then use the touchpad. So let me just show you here. Touchpad, two fingers, swipe across like this. One finger to you know open an app. And if you want to go home, put your trackpad right above the Neutral Dynamic Islands. And then this button here is to go home. You can double click, we can't. And then you click this button here to enter multitasking. So hopefully this video helped you out.